Hello everyone and welcome to the Agile Shop, where we talk shop about hands-on Agile solutions. In this video, we'll cover how to integrate Miro and Jira. Integrating Miro with Jira will allow you later on to able to convert your Miro stickies into Jira cards, and you can see them in the Jira backlog. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to get notified for more hands-on videos. Before we start with the integration instructions, you will need a couple of things. First, you need to have a Jira Cloud account. You can get a free account for up to 10 users. Second, you need to have a Miro account. Miro does offer a free account. However, the Jira integration part with Miro is allowed only for the upgraded accounts. The team or consultant accounts do support the Jira integration and they are the lowest in price. For this video, we will assume you already signed up for an upgraded account. Once you are in your Miro account and you open up a new board, expand the menu item on the bottom left and search for Jira. Select Jira cards and click Add. After it loads, click Get App and then Install and Authorize. After the app has been installed, go back and search for Jira. The first time you open it, it should attempt to connect. If it's loading for too long, you can try to exit the mirror board and try again. You should get a pop-up for settings that takes you to the integration details page. As you see in step 1, we need to configure a Jira application link in Jira with the information they provided below. Let's go to our Jira Cloud account. Once there, click the settings icon from the top right and then product. On the left side, click application link. Enter the Miro URL and create a new link. Click continue and you can enter Miro for application name and click continue. Your Miro application link should show up. Click the pencil icon to configure it. We will configure the incoming authentication part. For that, we need to go back to Miro and copy and paste the consumer key and the same for the consumer name. For description, we can just enter Miro and then copy the public key just like the other two. Click Save. Now Jira should allow incoming requests from Miro. If we go back to the Miro instructions, we will see that step 2 requires the Jira URL. The best way to get this URL is to go back to Jira and select copy the Jira URL up to the .NET part. Then go back to Miro and paste it. The box for Create Webhook Automatically should be checked and click Connect. Also, allow Read and Write access from Miro to Jira. Same for the Jira personal account. Now, let me show you how you can test your integration. Go back to the Miro board. Let's create one sticky. We can call this Test User Story 123, let's say. While your sticky is selected, click the icon on the left. That is the button for converting to Jira issue. You can see that our Jira project is pre-selected and some other Jira fields are being displayed. For example, the story points at the bottom is one of them. Let's enter three story points and click convert. Now, if we go back to the backlog of your Jira project and refresh, you should see our user story. There you go. You can see the name and the story points value was converted. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.